This is Dr. McKay with the University of Cincinnati. Today I would like to share with you how to conduct a taste threshold screening procedure for the sweet and or bitter qualitative respirator fit test. Specific details can be found in the OSHA Respiratory Protection Standard Mandatory Appendix A. Let's look at the big picture first. There's actually two phases to this testing. The first is called taste threshold screening, and it is conducted without a respirator being worn. This phase is simply used to identify if the subject can taste a weak concentration of a challenge agent and the number of squeezes that is needed. In the second phase, the subject will put on the respirator that they wish to be fit tested to and a much stronger concentration of the challenge agent will be used. So let's look at the details of the taste threshold screening. Once again, the purpose is to determine if the subject can detect a weak concentration of a test agent. No respirator is worn during this phase. We're simply going to spray a weak solution into the enclosure and identify how many squeezes it takes for the subject to detect the taste. And then we're going to record that number of squeezes as either a 10, 20, or 30 as to be specified later on. If the subject cannot detect the, the taste, then we'll try a different test agent or we simply stop. Let's go ahead and look at a demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this enclosure, I'm going to place it over the subject's head, I'm going to have it leaning forward the enclosure so that the plastic is not right up against his face. Now I'm going to take the weak solution and I am going to spray the weak solution but I'm going to ask him to breathe with his mouth open because this is an agent that has a taste response. However, when I do this I don't want to take the nebulizer with his mouth open and spray it directly into his mouth. It's best to envision where the sealing surfaces are on the respirator and try and spray around the periphery of the respirator. Those. So, Glenn, I'm going to have you just breathe with your mouth open. Breathe through your mouth and let me know when you detect a sweet taste. Yep. Okay, so that was three squeezes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the enclosure, take it off, and I am going to offer him, I have a bottle of water here and a clean towel. Um, obviously, if he had a sink or a restroom nearby, but for the video, I'm going to offer him the towel and the water, have him just put some of that water on the towel, and I want to have him rinse his lips and surrounding cheek area to get any residual material off of his face. And then in addition, he can take the water and take a drink, slush it around in his mouth. And this is where a restroom is preferable. Um, in this case, it's sweetener. He can go ahead and, and have a sip and, and swallow it. Um, or in a restroom, you can spit it out. You may want to prefer it if you were using the bitter agent, you probably would want to um, spit that out, okay? So, very important. If the subject detects the weak sensitivity screening solution within the first 10 squeezes, you're going to record that number as a 10. If they detect it between 11 and 20 squeezes, you'll record the number as 20. And then finally, if they detect it between 21 and 30 squeezes, you will record it as a 30. The recorded number 
becomes the basis for phase two fit testing. This concludes the presentation on phase one threshold screening. For phase two fit testing, watch our next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a safe day.